All right, welcome back to another van tour. It's Jared from Van City Conversions. Maddie is behind the camera. And today we are touring one of our recent builds. This was done a few months back. Uh, the client brought it back for a full roof rack, some exterior accessories, awning, light bar. We can finally show you the inside. It is a 2019 Mercedes Sprinter 170 3500. And I love the inside of it. It's pretty unique in my opinion. So let's show you it. Before I start explaining everything, sorry if you hear some background noise, it is super windy outside. There's nothing we can do about that, we're going to try to edit it. Um, we're still in the shop, but there's, there's noise, there's wind whistling everywhere, don't know why. Starting on the exterior, the full length bottom section of this vehicle is the topographical map. Kind of fades in toward the front with the grey matches the van. Like I said, this van was specced out to the fullest it could be. I think it used to be a limo passenger. Uh, van so this is actually metal so we were able to wrap it at our neighbors branded wraps that's something I'm pretty jealous of most sprinter vans as you know this is plastic but this is the same material so you're able to wrap it which is nice I think it's a really cool look to the van it ties it all together we got the nerf bars in the side the side steps and then for the wheels these are pretty much the only wheels that fit this vehicle like I said it is a dually in the back so we have the method race wheels rims and tires on this whole rig. Before we get into this rig, and we'll show you all this stuff, we have the Fiamma awning, the full length for the 170. There's 400 watts of solar, a Dometic RTX 2000, 12 volt AC, and the typical Max Air fan. So the roof space is taken up, and there's still room, uh, full aluminum deck up there to sit and enjoy the sun, sunbathe, whatever you want to do. A lot of roof space on this rig, and the full rack ties together. We'll show you that the 50 inch light bar up front. Some of you guys might not care too much about the features, but the inside is like fully loaded with everything you can get with the reclining chairs and all the controls, heated seats. They got lucky and got the HID lights, or the LED lights, sorry. So those are hard to come by even on 2022 models and 21s. They're getting canceled from shortages. They got lucky in 19. And they have the automatic door, which I must say is nice, especially if you're on a hill incline. You don't have to be swinging that thing open. So the push of a button, it opens up. So yeah, let's take you inside. All right, inside the van, you're seeing these big obnoxious seats. Like, wow, this is a really thin opening. These do not stay here. This, these were built for 10% of the time they're gonna use them. If they wanna bring guests, they have friends, family, wanna go on a ski trip, um, just a few hours away, you do have uh, seats to bring people and they are removable for the video now. I'm going to leave them in you guys have seen these before it latches on the bottom They fold out it takes one or two people to carry them out But you do have a safe secondary seating option that is removable So this video we're going to leave them in here But with these seats you obviously have the two front swivels and then you have the the nice lagoon mount here um, That can swivel so if people are sitting here you can use this as a desk if you have work to get done while you're traveling and whatnot you have a seat in front of you and it also acts as a desk for the, the driver's seat when they swivel around. Beside the Dometic RTX is two out of the four JBL speakers. They have four JBL speakers in total. They have a full surround sound with an amp and subwoofer as well with the Sony head unit. So a full off-grid sound system. It's amazing. It's one of those things you never think of. But when you have it in a vehicle, I mean, I think it's worth all the money and the sound speaks for itself. Starting on this side of the van, you'll see something very big in here and it is their fridge. Their whole build was pretty much based off getting this fridge to fit. It was not easy. I believe it's 110 liters. I'll correct myself if I'm wrong. It is the Vertifrigo Italian made yacht fridges. They're the most efficient fridges on the market. You get what you pay for. I love them. So they have literally like a full size freezer in here and a full size fridge. And I believe one of these fridges can run four days off a 100 amp hour battery, not getting a charge, which is pretty crazy, similar to the Slim 150, I believe. Plenty of storage in here. They loved cooking. One of their things were they want a big fridge. They got a big fridge. Directly above that is their Max Air Fan Remote, the Sony head unit, which these things are hard to wire in off grid. Keep in mind, there's a lot of systems in here. Uh, they're meant to have the parking brake on to work and whatnot. So it took some work, but we got it to work. I mean, if you want, you can watch movies on this thing. I don't know why you would. It's in a bad spot. It's mainly for music, and it's a good spot, central of the van. Got a couple USB chargers here, and some uh, ports you can hook up to display some images on there if you want. And some overhead shelf um, that wasn't being used. 
good space. You have the bar here to hold everything in. They have plenty of baskets. Some easy to reach things up in there. Use every inch of the van. Speaking of, down below, we had enough room for a little toe kick drawer, which they uh, made good use of. That's under there. Soft closing latches. It's not going to be opening up when you drive. Moving on to the kitchen, they went with uh, bamboo countertops. Uh, I think wood countertops in this van look pretty good with all the white going on. They have the pearl stainless steel sink, the black matte black pearl faucet, as well as the drinking faucet with three-stage water filtration. So all their drinking water is filtered no matter where they fill up, which is actually a nice feature. Sink is top mounted. A lot of people undermount their sink with this type of wood specifically and it not being like a solid core in the middle. I mean, you can undermount the sink, but down the road it is not suggested. It is not ideal in our opinion. You get warpage and, and whatnot. So top mounted sinks, ideally you'd like to undermount it. We know from experience, not the way to go. Underneath, they just have plenty more storage, their water filtration. You could sleep under there if you wanted to. A lot, a lot of storage, uh, they're 20 liter gray tank which when it's full you empty it out we still find that's one of the easiest ways for a gray water system moving on to this side of the kitchen plenty of counter space they got the two burner propane full-size propane bottle under here like I said a lot more storage pots and pans and then touching on the doors here these are actually finished in our spray booth at our cabinetry shop uh, it's cool it's unique you don't see it often in vans it gives you more of a house vibe which is what they want to go for and yeah I really like how it turned out Plenty of drawer space with soft closing latches, RV labs latches, lock into place. Not going to open up no matter what roads you go on. Plenty of storage space. It's hard to sit here and open these. I will show you them all on video. Overhead we have the brains of the system. We have their water pump here which I'm not going to turn on because we are currently winterizing this for them and putting it away in storage. You have their two lights. So we have the under cabinet flush mounted lights and you have the pot lights for the whole vehicle. You have the water pump. You have an outlet here and then you also have your hot water timer so their hot water is on a timer they have hot water in the rig you got your upgraded remote for their diesel heater you can do a bunch of cool things with this i think i've said it we've used it in a lot of our builds you can set timers um, different different monitors if you want to run the temperature from here under the seat where the heater is they do have a diesel heater um, and then the fresh water gauge their victron battery monitor monitor all the levels in their system and then you have the multi-control for the inverter, pretty much handles the shore power in the 110 in this vehicle. I will point out, because this is bothering me, these little patches here, this is temporary for their curtains. They're currently getting all their custom covers made. All right, before we get into the overhead cabinets, I'd like to quickly mention the trim pieces. Now you guys are probably noticing, this is a passenger van. They come factory with windows. Clients wanted all the windows left exposed, obviously with some window coverings that have yet to been made. But the trim pieces took a lot of time, but we are really happy with how they turned out. We didn't just want to leave it exposed, throw some fabric on it. Uh, so we took the extra time, made some nice contour black trim pieces. And yes, we kept in mind, windows have to be replaced if they break. These are easily removable. There's no visible fasteners. You can easily pull them off, refasten them. And we just, we just love how they turned out. Um, we went the extra mile with those. It was a lot of work. Super happy with it. Before we get into the bedroom of the vehicle, we do have more storage, pull out drawers under here. We have two of those, and then they do have a full size queen bed, a short queen I believe, with some room on either side to put some things. Nothing's going to fall down the cracks, it is one solid bed platform. And you have the his and hers reading light at the back, with the speakers as well. We'll show you more of that when we go to the back. They also have the max air fan overhead. A lot of people ask about building rigs and vans having the AC at the front max air fan at the back I personally believe that's the best option you'll find you use this max air fan 95% of the time um, whether it's a bit hot out or even if it's cold and you want to let some heat and suck it through the van it's it's best to have it over here over your bed you're going to be using that when it's summer nights it's not too hot but you just want some air that's the thing you're going to be using the AC is more central and funny thing a lot of people actually use these ACs just to power and cool the back while you're driving. So while you're driving, the alternator is pulling enough power to run that thing around the clock. And sometimes this factory AC struggles to keep up with cooling this whole back section. So that's why you want it more central and toward the front. Full overheads on the passenger side of the van, all locking, soft opening, 
when you close them in, you pop them in, they're not gonna open. Unless you do this little motion, they open back up for you. Plenty of storage there all around the vehicle. So that's pretty much your clothes space, some kitchenware up here. A lot of people ask, why don't you do a full overhead on this side? Cause there's plenty of room, but we will explain that. This portion on is because you wanna still have a spot to sit up in bed. If you had overheads on either side, you couldn't do that. And some people just feel claustrophobic. On this side, we will explain why there's no overheads here. I'll mention it again. Like I said, the clients have not had much time to use this thing. They did some traveling, winter came, they brought it back. We've been waiting on the rack and all the upholster items. One of the upholster items for this, what I'm about to show you is not yet made, but you'll get the point. I think we can show you this far. You have plenty of counter space here again with the bamboo countertop stained and then it's hinged. So you open it up here, slide the latch in, you open these up and you now have your full shower when you step on in there. For this type of build, I think it was best to decide to go with a Dometic cassette toilet so you can move that out when you do want to shower and use the whole space. And you got your full, full hand spray here, hot and cold water, all tucked away. And obviously when you're not using the shower, it does make kind of a nice uh, wet storage area. They have the gray water tank under there um, and the shower for their water. So yeah, built a shower into this space and some people like a full size shower. Some people would prefer counter space. They want a counter space. For the amount you actually use a shower, this is an option, right? So you do have this prep area. Like I said, they do like cooking. So they have tons of prep area, big fridge, sink, and cooktop. All right, let's get into the back of the van, the garage, and some of the sleeping quarters up here. Another side note again. So I just, I'm in awe, so you rarely see vans spec out like this. Notice the trim, it's not just black plastic. I love that it's paint match. Cool little details like that. You open up the back, one with a pretty simplistic design. They pretty much have it all white with their pull-out drawer. You have your outdoor shower here, which is almost mandatory. Spray down, you do have a hot water back here. And this is your outdoor water fill. They have a 32 gallon fresh water system. And then you have your catch-all for drawers. So a lot of people, if you just have your this space for storage, it's nice, but you have to crawl back in there, someone's way at the back. You have the 500 pound slides with a full size pull-out drawer. That way, if something's at the back, you can come back here and reach it. Obviously, they just got back from a trip, so they have their chairs, their beach umbrellas, their umbrellas, stuff like that. Some shore power cables, tarps. I think they even have a, an oven out here because their electrical system. So moving in to their electrical system, they have 400 amp hours of lithium, a 3000 watt inverter, um, 30 amp Orion, the DC to DC charger, they have shore power and then everything is fused accordingly. Uh, their charge controller, the 50 over 100. Everything's Victron, I mean, I kind of live by them. I think they're a great company. They're a little bit more expensive than other companies, but I think money speaks for itself, especially in electrical, it is the brains of your vehicle. Last thing you want to be doing is camping out there and uh, you can't make dinner because your induction can't run or, or you don't, you can't charge your laptop and camera. Uh, it's just, we don't like to worry about that stuff. All right, and the last thing in this garage, we do make it easy, the client should never have to, but for us, when it comes to winterizing, if they're not gonna be using the winter, or serviceability, changing fuses and whatnot, you do have the three panels on the bed, which are removable if you take out the mattress, or each side has a hollow panel you can fully take out. And then if you look in there, you have full access to your electrical and same on the other side with the plumbing. All right, some finishing details in the van, more nice trim wraps all the way around. Uh, you have the his and hers reading lights with USBs on each side of the bed. And then up top, we have the custom upholstered uh, with the kind of the speaker fabric which you see on the sliding door as well with their two speakers set into the door Wired in as part of their off-grid surround sound system. And yeah, that's pretty much it the whole the whole build I know we probably missed a few things. Listen, there's thousands of van builds on YouTube I'm Trying to keep it short and sweet. If you have any questions leave them down below If you want more information on us and all of our past builds VanCityConversions.com link will be right here and in the description and yeah, if you have any questions, like I said, down below, and we'll see you in the next build. Oh.